Hi Leo, welcome to your February 2018 love reading. It's Raina here. I drew a blank there. I was actually thinking about the fact that you have a blue moon lunar eclipse coming up because I'm recording this on January 17th. So going into February, you're coming off of this very dramatic lunar eclipse at 11 degrees of Leo. And um, of course, when there's a, an, a lunar eclipse, we're talking about a powerful full moon, and full moons are oppositions between the sun and the moon. So at the time of that lunar eclipse, the sun is actually in your seventh house in Aquarius. So people in long-term relationships may see some very big shifts. And uh, so I'm, I'm putting that out there before I do this reading. Now, oh yeah, and then, and then there's going to be a solar eclipse in Aquarius on February 15th, so that will be affecting that seventh house as well. New beginnings in the seventh house. So, what, um, what I want to say is that if you're someone in a relationship, this reading will probably be more your cup of tea. If you're someone looking for a singles reading, I think I'm going to be doing another one of those on YouTube. And it's going to be probably posted towards the end of this month. So not in the coming week. So I have other types of readings that I have to get uh, up and running here. Okay. All right, so I'm just shuffling the cards. I've got a weird angle going on, so forgive me. Okay. The heart of the matter is the Seven of Cups. And uh, this is a, a card that is all about the choices we make, whether or not they are made with a clear head whether or not we're just, um, if it's just wishful thinking. Now, I happen to like wishful thinking in terms of like really uh, thinking about what you wish for. But that saying means kind of diluted thinking. And it's like wanting to see things in the way that you want to see them, but not necessarily how they are. Um, this is a card associated with Neptune, so there's a, a sense of maybe not being straight with oneself about a particular person in your life. Now, this person could actually be a Pisces individual or maybe one of the other water signs. For Leo, the usual suspect is a, is a Scorpio, or Cancer is the other water sign. And maybe, not, maybe this isn't their sun sign, but they have that very strong personality trait that is associated with water. And in the past position we have the devil card. So this may be um, a situation where this is a compulsive type of relationship so it may be a sex thing and not really love and maybe that's where the wishful thinking comes in where you're trying to make it into something that it just isn't. And 
Um, sometimes when I see people's charts in their personal in personal readings, if they have a conjunction between Venus and Mars, oftentimes uh, this is seems to be particularly true for women. They will confuse sex with love. And if they have great sex, it's like they're in love with the person. That's kind of a disastrous mentality because it's just not the case, you know. And um, it's very hard to get them because then there's the additional conditioning from society that, oh, you have, you know, a woman has to be in love with the person she has sex with. So they try to uh, act like, yeah, that's this is really what this is all about when it's really not what it's all about. And um, the other thing too is that you may want, you may have gone into the situation acting like you were cool with it and then you, you develop feelings. Or maybe maybe the person did lead you on because we have here in the present position the Page of Cups. This is like being a babe in the woods, being naive about a situation. It's associated with Pisces, as you can see that. So there's another Piscean um, influence. But Pisces as an influence could also be simply gullibility, you know, trusting the wrong people, and believing what people say instead of using your God-given brain to see if it matches up with logic. Um, and again, constructing a, an alternative narrative about what is happening in this relationship. And um, meanwhile, it's not giving you what you want and you're wasting time. You're spinning your wheels. With the with the double card, we're talking about something that you may even know is wrong, but you just can't get enough of it because it does serve a purpose on some level. There is a payoff somewhere. Maybe, you know, it is great sex. You know, I'm not going to say it's not, but it could be one-dimensional relationship. And the person may treat you shabbily on top of that, which is, you know... A Leo person is very proud, and the, by the way, having pride doesn't mean being a narcissist. That's that's a totally different animal. I'm just talking about having digni dignity and wanting to be respected. And yet, ironically, some Leo people wind up in relationships that provide them with anything but that. And so if you're one of those people that this has happened to, it's time to take charge of the, your life. And that means that you have to break free from this addictive behavior because it might be addictive. There may be something that you that is gratifying for you, but it's you have to, like, what was it called? The um, cost benefits ratio or something you know what is is it giving you more or is it taking more from you overall the higher message is represented by the four swords so it may be telling you that it's time for self-care it's time to withdraw it's time to get adequate sleep and to recharge your batteries. Maybe you have been worrying a lot. Maybe you've been feeling run down physically because this relationship is toxic. And it's about spending time, quality time alone, contemplative time um, for you to get your head straight. What well, crosses you is represented by the eight of wands. Now the eight of wands in the upright position is a card of a lot of things happening back and forth, exciting news, developments, maybe even um, physical relocation, 
these could be messages that are coming back and forth. And in the challenge position, there may be this slowdown that is making you think that everything is kind of suspended in time. Like you're, you can't get going, like you're caught up in quicksand. And with that, and, and by the way, you know, the, the wands connect with fire energy. And with that Leo lunar eclipse, it's talking about maybe like major endings. So things being taken away. So instead of new developments, there could be like things leaving your life. And the, the fact that this is in the challenge position may mean that you're not really necessarily starting something new, but kind of tying up your, your, uh, the loose ends of your old existence. And so if, if you notice that you're trying to move forward and it seems like you're not really getting there and you have broken it off with somebody that you know you don't have a future with, then the Four of Swords should kick in and you should say, okay, I guess this is my time for myself. I guess I'm going to use this time to really do some soul searching about what it is that I'm looking for in a relationship and how did I go so wrong? What was the first mistake that I made? Not what that person did because maybe that person did a lot of bad things, but looking at it from your point of view, like what could you do differently next time? What is coming in or the advice is the judgment card. This is a card of rebirth. Now, if by any chance this is dealing with a marriage, and I didn't really, I was almost acting like this was an affair. Um, maybe it is, maybe this was an affair that you were like deciding to break off or something. Um, there could be something that comes out in February with your marriage. Because uh, as I said before, you are having a solar eclipse in the marriage house. But um, this is also the card of karma. Like what you sow, so shall you reap. And that's not ominous. That's just like reality. So, and that goes for the other person. But it's possible, I guess, that some of you were involved in an affair and you decided that it, it was, maybe you were hoping that you would be with that person and that's what that Seven of Cups was, that you wanted to um, make a life with that person, but it was really a deluded idea, that they were just looking for sex and you were looking for something more. Um, if you were already married at the time that you had that affair, the Four of Swords could be about you uh, separating um, to in order to get your head clear and straight on what you want. And the judgment card could even be about you deciding to go ahead or maybe a judgment in the a marriage. Uh, maybe there's a legal judgment coming in. I, I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to because I did get a comment today about somebody said that I said that uh, about going off with some other person when, you know, and what if you have kids? I never advocate for people just up and leaving a relationship and going into a new relationship right away. I don't believe that that's wise. So no one should ever assume that, that, that that's something that I would do. Um, that person may have misunderstood what I meant, um, but I did say to that person that these are these readings are for entertainment purposes. Um, it would be extremely foolish for somebody to make their decisions based off a YouTube reading or even a private reading for that matter. Take responsibility for your own life. Use these things as tools um, if it's just simply a message from the universe. But don't ever, um, you know forsake your own your own intuition and just go ahead and do something because you've heard it on a, on a video um, but I, I never say things like that when I'm I'm not making light of infidelity when I talk about these things but I'm not going to be on a high horse and in, in lecturing people 
that are adults. I I have my own views. I think that that um, infidelity is wrong, and that if you're unhappy in your relationship, then you need to leave that relationship. <clears throat> excuse me, and not prolong the inevitable by having an affair, thinking that that's going to solve anything. But you know what? Sometimes things do happen, and people are weak, and they think that they're going to get their needs met by getting involved in something that ends up taking more than it ever could possibly give. So that so the judgment card could be about, um, it could be many things. D even with the like the lunar eclipse, you may something may you may get found out about your affair if you're having one. And that may be kind of like, oh, interesting. You know, the other person may not be that uh understanding about it. And you have to you have to pay the piper. The outcome is the two of pentacles, and this is another reason why I think some people may be involved with two other parties because usually this is a card of like okay choosing or juggling maybe juggling two people juggling two jobs um it could be that you receive a job offer that is far away overseas and you're kind of like contemplating whether or not to do it because you you may think to yourself this is the best thing that ever happened to me because I can put some distance between me and that person. But then you still, the other side of things is you're like saying, yeah, but then that puts a distance between me and that other person. So that may make you torn between doing that uh, kind of thing. So it, it could be that um, you are still trying to decide what to do about two different relationships in your life and um, you're juggling them for the time being but I have a feeling that even if that's the case if you haven't let either one go you may let both of them go at some point however it's possible that with the solar eclipse in the in the marriage sector that some of you will have a better relationship with your spouse in the upcoming months. Maybe there there was uh, problems and you have kind of uh, weathered the storm. So Leo, I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like a private reading, please click on the link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com and I wish you all the best in February. Bye.